Hello and welcome to part two of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Look at all my little boys. Actually, I don't know their genders. They could just not be boys. Anyway, we're actually like, I wouldn't say out of the tutorial, but we're out of the first area where most of the speech is. Hello, Rowlet. Um, yeah, I don't really care. Let's just go. Let's do these things that we were told to do. Uh, stay safe out there, kid. All right. Okay, so we're gonna catch a Wurmple. That old man, he's like, yo, get me a Wurmple. Also, I like that little running animation I just saw for the loading. Right anyway, let's get to it then, shall we? Yes, we should. Uh, yeah. Yep, I figured out how the- Oh, wait, what? Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press down button to open your Pokedex. Then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokedex you- For the Pokemon you've registered. When you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button- I forgot to do that last episode. Oops. You can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing down to open your Pokedex right to the page. Okay, cool. Now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Akari. What is your nugget of wisdom? Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do- Oh yes, dodging. I don't know how to do that yet. Just watch me. Oh, he's gonna- he's gonna- he's gonna do the action for me. He's gonna show me. Here I go. Wow. That was so cool, dude. Ray, you're a legend. Thanks for showing me how to roll. Now, how do I do that? I want to I wanna roll. When those shigs give me Thundershock, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. We can die, essentially. That's all he's saying. Don't get killed. We're 15 year olds going out into the wild. We're basically cavemen. We're hunting our food, I pray. Did he tell me how to dive? Because I wasn't listening. <gasps> no. Oh, wait. Okay, that's fine. I thought I wasted a Pokeball. I got 20. Oh, why? Wah! Come here. Come here, Ray. I'm going to catch you. <laughs> Get ready for some survey corpse wisdom. Shut up. Focus with ZL. All right. I will will do. You see the research task? Yep, yep. How many you've caught? I've got to catch more. And when it's time to battle Pokemon, remember? Yep, you can swap out to your Pokemon. Epic. Follow Ray to learn some tips from carrying out research tasks. Okay, we're actually sort of free at the moment. Let's get this Bidoof. Watch this, I'm gonna snipe him. Wah! Yes, I got him. Hello, you're mine. I've got two Bidoof now. If Oh no, he escaped. Um, go, rail it. Ugh. No, he ran away. He doesn't like fighting. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Nah, you know what? Bah! Gotcha. In the head. I hope you got brain damage. I don't know why I'm catching him. Because, well, I got two now. Epic. Wait, so where is that stored? In here. I got two Bidoof. I think we need to catch a bunch, though. Just... Hey, hey. Hello. I'm going to kill you. Whoa! Oh, I was expecting him to die. But, uh, uh did we get him? No. Ooh, come back. Duh. Ooh, headshot. I think that's what that is, like a headshot uh, part of the effects. We got three Bidoof. Look how many specimen you've caught. I think that's what that said. Um, Bidoof, we've caught three. Now there's, hold on, there's a three here. Ooh, it's highlighted. That's probably a good thing. I don't know. Wait, what's this? Oh, wait, that's where you can find them. And yeah, bruh, this game is crazy. But we're actually getting into some action. Let's do a battle with this Bidoof. Wah! Go Rowlet. Okay, no. The Bidoof don't like to fight. We also need to find a Wurmple, I'm pretty sure. What do you want, Ray? What are you doing here? Oh, okay. I know I'm laying on... Yeah, you are laying it on thick. Let me just play. Hold down. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting to do the, like, investigating the ZL button. Whatever it's called. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? I don't know. I didn't really check. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. How many? I'll do them all. Okay, I don't know who this dude is. I don't really care about him. But we've got to be stealthy. I think he's on to us. Oh. I'm not here. Oops. Go! Yes, we got him. Well, we don't actually know if it caught yet. Come on, catch. Yes, we did it. How about you too? He doesn't know I'm here. Wait, he's just running away. Maybe he did see me. I'm going to move my thing to here because there's stuff coming up at the top and I didn't see it. Okay, tasks. What tasks do I have? Number you've caught without being spotted. Two. Um, do I need more? I don't know. There's no like red thing next to it. I don't know what that all means. We're gonna get this one though. Whoa, whoa, you don't see me. And go, catch. Yes, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over here just in case it doesn't catch and I'm gonna throw it right back at it. Oh, we got it anyway. Yo, let's go. We did it. Right, so where do the Pokemon go? The like extras, because I can only hold three. Oh, six. It said they got sent to like some, not boxes, but like some like animal shelter sort of thing. Um, I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. So I'm just gonna explore and find new things. Finally, we can explore the world. Oh, there's a Shinx over there. Imagine we find a shiny. Okay, oh, he's aggressive. Let's get our Rowlet ready to go. Hey, Shinx, go! Oh, all right, all right, let's go. I love how you can walk around during the battles. You can, like, spectate. It's so cool. Leafage, go! Um, kill the Shinx. Actually, we probably want to catch it. I think we just want to catch as many things as possible. I think that's kind of the whole thing of this game. Go, Gust. That shouldn't kill it, right? Okay, it should be good to throw a Pokeball at now. 
Items. Pokeball. Go. Catch the Shinx. All right. One shake. And it escaped. Bruh. Not good. All right. We're going to throw another Pokeball. It should be fine. Go. Pokeball. Yay. I'm going to get you this time, Shinx. Mark my words. I told you. We'll get him. That's it. You caught a Shinx. Times you've seen it use Quick Attack. That's a thing for Shinx. That goes to the Pokedex for some reason. All right. There's a tree over here. It's one of the trees that we can throw Pokemon at and they will give us items. Go, Rowlet. Hit the tree. Give me... Uh, orange berries. Oh, what's down here? <gasps> Wormpool! We need that. And there's also... Oh, whoa. Like, minerals. Can Rowlet pick that up for me? Go. Break it. Oh, thank you. Tumblestone. We need that to craft Pokeballs, I believe. Okay, there's a Wormpool here. We're going to try and catch it for that little side quest. I think this should be okay. Go! We got him. Well, it might escape. I don't know. Ooh, I love this game. Look at this. This... <gasps> we got Wormpool. A new Pokemon to the Pokedex. And... I think when we go back to the city, um, we can complete that mission. There's a Shinx over here. Um, we're going to fight it because they're too aggressive. Go, Rowlet. And I love that the battles don't just send you to a battle area. It's exactly where you found the wild Pokemon. This game is such an upgrade for Pokemon. I'm so excited. Oh, lots of damage. That's good. Ouch, quick attack. Um, Gus, this shouldn't kill you, I don't think. I might be a little... Oh. That was close. Should be an easy catch now. Go, Pokeball. We got him. We got him, boys. Is that three Shinx caught? Surely that's like a mission. Times you've seen it use Quick Attack. I don't know why that's one of the missions, but okay. Honestly, I'm kind of confused as to which one of these, like, tasks I'm meant to complete. There's so many Pokemon and the V's got like, I don't know, six to eight tasks. Some of them have a red thing next to it. I don't even know what that means, but I'm just so happy I get to explore now. Okay, climbing is a slow thing in this game. Fair enough. Oh, what's that? I, I can see the Shinx, but what's that next to it? No, you don't see me. I don't want to fight you. I want to see whatever that thing is. Is that a Pokemon? No, it's an item. What's in it? What? What is that? Okay, something I can't pronounce. I'm not going to try and say what that is. No, go away. I don't want to fight the Shinx. Although I do want some berries. Go. Bruh, this game is so cool. I can hear things. Oh, Luxio. Oh, okay. Wild Luxio. He's probably going to be, he's probably going to be over leveled, like way higher than me. I don't know. Go! Oh, bruh, let me go. Pokemon, Pokemon, Rowlet, kill him. Level 40? Is there a run option? Please, paralyze. Come on, let's go. B, run. I sh yes, I want to run away. Come, yeah, let's leave. Okay, sorry, Luxio, I didn't mean to. Um, yeah, have a nice day. Okay, I'm just gonna go to where Ray is. He'll probably tell me how many things I need to complete and like, give me hints. I should probably be reading the text, but I just wanna play. Bruh, thanks for the apricots. Rowlet, you mad lad. Oh, okay, so throwing Pokeballs, or throwing, sending out your Pokemon to get items uh, gives you XP. A level three, you're pathetic. We're gonna one shot him, I think, maybe. I don't know, not quite. Wow, Rowlet's almost dead. That's fine, we'll catch him. Go, and another one. Epic. Okay, we've seen Shinx use Quick Attack uh, six times now, which was a requirement for the the six here. Six. Epic. I don't know if that's what Ray wants me to do, like complete those tasks to make him green. But we're going to go find him. He's up here, apparently. I'm pretty sure these are too steep to climb. Yeah. He's diving faster than running. I'm going to get the speed run law down. There's a Shinx there. I don't really want to fight it. I've fought enough for now. I should probably swap out my Pokemon. Let's uh, let's actually get a Shinx to train as well. Stardust. Oh, okay. Come on. Climb up. You can do it. Okay, this area. Whoa. What is happening? I'm not meant to be here. Let's go down here. Whoa. What is happening? Wait, it wants me to leave? I'm confused. That little running animation. That's cool. I like that. Cool little detail. Jubilife Village. All right. Whoa. Okay, you have a task for me. What do you want me to do? I know Shink's ear has an odd marking on the inside, but why? What? Is that like a gender specific thing? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've caught many Shinx. What did the Shinx's ear look like? What does that even mean? Oh, yeah, okay. I just had to catch a certain amount of Shinx. So this is where they're stored if I don't have, well, if my team is full. You can have the level three one that I just caught. The worst one I have. Alrighty, let's have a peek around the ears. I don't know what you're doing. Its ears look fine. Its ears have a yellow cross pattern. Oh, he just means, he just wants to look at the Shinx's ears, like all of them. Like just Shinx as a species. He's, he's interested in their ear pattern. Fair enough. What did I get for that? Three potions. Nothing crazy. I heard, I'm pretty sure, I've heard a lot of people say that a lot of the rewards rewards you get for doing these side quests are really good like towards that like when you're not in this tutorial you're a newcomer who fell from the sky are you heading outside the village what do you want find out all about starly okay so what does that quest want me to do show 
uh, Meryl, the completed Pokedex entry of Starly. Okay, that really confused me because Meryl's a Pokemon. I'm like, what? Huh? Oh, it's Marley, not Meryl. Um, let me see the Starly. Wait, what? Show Marley the completed Pokedex entry for Starly. What does that mean? Do I not have it completed? Like, does she mean have everything maxed out? Because none of these look like they're completed because they're all grayed out. So how do I make it not grayed out? Do I have to do everything on here? Because if so, this is quite a big quest that'll probably just happen over time. And you, you wanted me to catch that Caterpie for you. Or Wurmple. Have you caught a Wurmple? Yes, I have. Here you go. You can have it. Actually, I don't even think they keep it. I think they just look at it. That is quite a big Wurmple. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Okay, give it a name. I don't really care. What are you going to name it? This is a tough decision. Which of these do you like? I don't like any of those names, so I'm just going to go with that one. I'll raise Beautifred to be a splendor of the... the, the be, yeah, whatever. You're welcome for the Wurmple. That's the first request. Dazzling Honey. Epic. Whir, whir, whir. Honestly, yeah. Okay, where's Ray? Because the only objective is this woman. Do I just got to do a whole bunch of Starly things? Okay, I'll go get you some Starlies or I'll try and complete its Pokedex thing. I think that's what I'm meant to do right now. Oh wait, down here there's something. Let's go there. Pretty sure it's down here, the entrance. Uh, yep, some of the, one of the, um, the gatekeepers. Whoa, hello, a big boizel. Whoa, hello, boizel, cool. Can I just, can I catch him? What? No, it won't let me. All right, what do you want? You want a bigger weasel? Can Pokemon of the same, uh, can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I mean, yeah, surely. If they really are weasel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them. Okay, so we've got to find, okay, so there's different sizes. Actually, now that I think of it, I've seen online that there are like mega, not mega as in mega Pokemon, but there are like gigantic Pokemon that you could just find in the wild. And there's one of, there's like, you can get a gigantic Gardevoir and she's just massive. I so want one. Um, um, but I think he's asking for like a massive boizel. Catch a big boizel to give to Dorian. Okay. I don't know what my actual goal is. I've got these side quests, mission quests. Oh, okay. So these are the side quests. Catch uh, Starlies and, oh, and it even tells you the rewards and catch a big boizel. But the main mission, in order to complete the Pokedex, you need to accomplish research tasks. Speak to the professor to learn more. Okay, let's do that first. I kind of want to do the story, but also doing the side quests along the way. I don't know where he actually is because, oh wait, he's probably at the camp. Okay, so we're going to go back to the open area and then go to the camp. Talk to Lavington, I think. All right, here we are. Talk to you. For now, I suggest you listen to Ray's advice. You'll find everything much clearer. Oh, wait, the objective is over here. Uh, okay, I wasn't even meant to go back to the village. Good thing I did because I found more like quests to do, but I don't even think I needed to. I'm supposed to go all the way over there to where Ray is. Anyway, let's find some Starly. There's lots of Shinx lying around. Haven't even, whoa, haven't even got like a side quest for Shinx yet. Any Starly? There's Bidoof. I don't really need them at the moment. Whoa! <gasps> okay, I broke my legs. Whoa, look at the edges of the screen. That's how it displays damage. That's really cool. Oh yeah, who's this dude? Hello. The more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it'll be to catch. Yes. Okay, let's actually like scan. What? You can go first person? How I'm just holding uh, ZL. Isn't this how you like inspect Pokemon to see how easy they are to catch? No, it's first person. There's a first person mode. You can't do anything. No. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, that's a thing that attracts them. Uh, okay. Let's catch them then since they're right here. <gasps> you can catch multiple things at once. That's so cool. Let's get them all. One. No, he escaped. And what about you? I caught him. Okay. There's so much things to take in right now. Okay. So how do I do the inspect thing to see how easy it is to catch? Cause I thought it was ZL. But that just puts me in first person mode. Oh, Starly. Yes, we need those. Okay, so orange berries. That's very good for like distracting them, I think. Okay, I don't really need to. Oh, I don't need to distract them because yes, they do. Nope, you don't see me. What? Oh, critical catch. That's just what I'm going to call that because I don't know what else to call it. How did you escape? You're the one who got the good catch on. Catch without being spotted. No, he got the. Uh. Actually, I'm almost out of Pokeballs. I'm going to go back and craft. This game is so different to other Pokemon. It's, it's perfect. This is what Pokemon is needed. Can I fast travel? I can. That's really good. Okay, so crafting tables over here. How many Pokeballs can I make? I can make 21. I'm just going to use them all for that. I want to catch a bunch of things. And yeah, let's make our way to the objective now and just catch stuff along the way. Oh, what is that over there? I feel like I'm playing Breath of the Wild again, where you just see something off in the distance. You try to go there and then you find something else and you're like, hey, what's that? And then we catch a Starly. Oh, that was a snipe and a half. That was epic. Is it actually going to catch? Yes. More things for that Starly mission. Number you've caught without being spotted. Four out of five. Cool. Uh, we're going to go over. Oh, 
another Starly we can catch this one. Wow. Yep. Is it actually going to catch or is it going to escape? Are we ready? Nope. He caught. Awesome. There's a dude over here on a bridge, but then the objective is over here. Unless I have to go on the bridge to actually get there. I don't know. We're just going to go over here for now. I feel like we're going to be crossing that bridge soon. And I think that guy's just there to say, hey, don't go this way yet. Oh, new area. Oh, more Wurmple. I, I don't even know how to commentate this properly because there's just so much going on. I missed. Wah, how? Come on. There. Okay. This is so much going on. So many things to just take in. Okay. Catching Pokemon without them spotting you seems to be a very like important thing to fill out your Pokedex. Oh, that was a good snipe. Wah. Let's just catch all these Wurmple. Is that one sleeping? Well, it was. Go. Okay, let's go. Wah. Too far. Oh, almost. Wah. Come on. I'm just wasting Pokeballs. Let's just go. We don't need him. Hey, Ray. What's up? Haven't seen you in a while. Thankfully. Around here, you can find... Oh, Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Uh, okay. This is going to be the one the guy wants back in the village. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves. It's just like Shinx, but you and you'll need to battle to catch it. Will do. Is that one a bigger one? I can't tell. If you take too much damage with a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. Yep. And speaking of which, your research task for Weasel include seeing it use a certain move. You've got to see the move in battle for it to count towards the task. So battle it. So battling is extra key here. Whatever. I'm going on ahead. Catch up once you've checked off some of Weasel's tasks. Okay, let's fight. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd, where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. Um, we're just going to use Shinx this time. Wah, go. Haven't actually used Shinx in a battle yet. I've only been using Rowlet. What have we got? We got Thundershock. That's good against water types. I shouldn't kill it, should I? Oh, that was very close. We're going to catch it. I don't know what move it wanted me to see it use for the Pokedex, but we're just going to catch it. And caught. Cool. We got a sh uh, Boizel. Nice. New one for the Pokedex. There's another one over here. We're going to fight this one. Go, Shinx. All right, quick attack. Was that the move it wanted me to see him use to help with the Pokedex? This one's a level two. I just realized that's probably going to kill it. Oh, it's paralyzed. Quick attack. Yes, keep using that attack because I'm pretty sure I need that. I need to see him use that. But we're going to catch you now because you're almost dead. I want to protect you. Cool. Two down. Was that? Okay, we need to catch three of them. And number of large... Spe oh, that's a large one. We can give that to the guy back in the village when we go back there. Okay, so that wasn't the move. Quick attack wasn't the move we wanted to see it use. So what was? Number caught two. Number of large ones we caught one. Number defeated, zero. Number you've defeated with electric type moves, zero. Number times you've seen it use Aqua Jet, okay. And number times you've obtained it, two. And number of different forms you've obtained it, two out of two. That's the only one. What does that even mean? Like a regular size and a large size? Horseshoe Plains is the name of this area. Okay, there's another bit of, another bit of, come on, bruh. Yo, look how pretty this place is. Flowers everywhere. We got another bit of, we caught six now. That's another task completed. Or like, yeah. Go. Oh no, I just threw a Pokeball out of the tree. I meant to do this. Go and give me the items. I didn't mean to just try and catch a tree. I know it's not a Pokemon. Wah, go, get him. We're catching all the Wurmple. Come on. Yay, we got another one. Hello, Ray. What are you going to tell me now? You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Yeah, true that. I have a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. What does that mean? Is it just portable crafting? Okay, so it's sort of a portable crafting bench, except I can only use items I've caught on this trip since coming out of the village or something like that. I think that's what that means. And here's a recipe for potions. Oh yeah, I should probably use that. My Pokemon Chinx and Rowl are almost dead. Okay, so it's good that we can make Pokeballs on the go. That's very useful. Research going all right. You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on Pokedex on the on the cover. What does that mean? It says 31 unreported data. What does that mean? I think I have to complete the entire row for it to count as a complete task. And obviously the greened out parts are just little milestones I've made through that specific task. It's a little hard to understand, but I think I'm getting it now. Once you've got a task, uh, go check with... Okay, so just basically, I think it's giving me free play. It just wants me to at least complete one set of tasks or something. So I'll just catch this Wurmple because we've almost got a six catch milestone on that, I'm pretty sure. Yep, caught Wurmple. Oh no, that's five out of six. Uh, Starly without being spotted. You don't see me. You don't see me. I know that's one of the tasks. Did it catch? Come on. That was a good shot. Come on. Surely it catches. Yes, seven out of 12 and six without being spotted. I just saw one go in here. He's right there. Oh, that's cool. It has like an outline even when they're hidden. Oh, special catch. Come on. I have another one ready. Okay. Eight out of 12 and seven out of 10. Ooh, why am I holding a honey thing? I don't want that. Is that Eevee? Yo, Eevee. No way. Come on. I want an Eevee. Gah, yes. Oh, there's another one. Is that sleeping? Oh, no, that's Badoof. We'll still catch him too. We got Eevee. Number caught. One out of one. Okay, let's see what tasks Eevee has. Obviously, 
how many I've caught, how many I've caught without being spotted, times I've seen it use quick attack, times you've given it food. Oh, that's cool. Number of different forms you've obtained, two, so I'm assuming those are size. Number you've evolved, okay, that's cool. Investigated more about how Eevee evolves. Okay, so all the evolutions, I assume, to complete that task. This is crazy. <gasps> is that a Ponyta? I think it's Ponyta. Yo, we're getting a bunch of new Pokemon out here. You don't see me. Wah, go. Oh, got him. Um, also, uh, kill that. Get that rock shinks. We got ponies here. Nice. We're running out of Pokeballs, so how do I craft on the go? I can't remember. Probably probably this thing, right? Yeah, craft. We need more Pokeballs. We can only get four. Okay, we've got to break more things to get items. Go, Shinx, get that. I love how you can, like, throw it at a thing to collect items. You can run away, and I can just throw it at this, go somewhere else while that's doing that, and then they come back to me. It's such a smooth game. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels so good. I think this game is pretty. It's not the craziest graphics in the world, but oops. But I think it looks very cool. It's got like a Japanese painting sort of art style, and I think that's really cool. I'm just out here throwing Pokeballs, getting items, minding my own business, completing tasks. It's such a fun game. Okay, I don't. Okay, I think we should stick to one task at the moment, just because I think he wants me to complete tasks. So who do we see a lot of? We see a lot of Bidoof. Wait, what do we have the most of so far? We got the most Starly. So in order to fully complete this task, we have to catch 25 of them, and then the task below. Lower, we have to catch 20 of them without being spotted. We're gonna try and complete those two, I think. No, nope, don't fight. Okay. Okay, there's Starly over here. We're gonna catch it without it spotting me. Go. Nice. And there's another one here. Wow. Cool. Call that one and call that one. I'm gonna have so many Pokemon in the boxes. Hopefully there's a way to like bulk transfer them. Okay, we're looking for as many Starly as possible, I think. Oh, there's Bidoof. You know what? Let's just catch these guys too. Hello. Hello. And hello. Bruh. This game is crazy. Get me items, Shinx, from that tree. Thank you. I think we can craft a few more Pokeballs now. Okay, so we can get seven. Cool. We need more Tumblestone, which are the ores, like the red ores, I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Flying. Fall damage. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a bunch of Starly down here. Okay. Oh, nope, you don't see me. Go, go, and go. Oh, that one escaped. No, no, don't fly away. Okay, we got one, and we got two. Okay, we've got heaps of Apricorns now. We just need to keep breaking these red rock things. Hello, Wurmple. No, don't fight me. He just tried to jump at me. More of these. Go on. Break it. Thank you. And we can craft another 10 Pokeballs. Okay. Pokeballs are very easy to craft. Hello. Mine. Okay. I'm just going to talk to this dude. He might tell me something I need to know. When you've submitted survey reports, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you completed thus far. Oh, wait. I don't know what... Is that all? That's everything I just caught, I think. Wow. Total Pokemon caught, 37. 30 or more Pokemon in one report achieved. Different species caught, 7. Pokemon caught for the first time, 7. Pokemon caught using a backstrife. Oh, so walking backwards and throwing, maybe? Okay, that's how we get money. Just catching Pokemon. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with the new data. What new data? By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you will raise the research level of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry level to 10, their entry will be considered complete and you'll, ha and you'll have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out more tasks complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you also gain po Pokemon research points, which can be viewed on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain amount of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team, meaning I can explore new places, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, okay. So you go in the wild, you catch a Pokemon. It's not technically registered to your Pokedex yet. You've got it. But until I talk to Lavington, who's like, yep, you've caught that Pokemon. Let's add it. It's added now. And yes, it's ticked off all the like milestones I've completed. It's making more sense now. I don't have to complete the entire rows just yet. I don't think it wants me to do that. That's just something that happens over time. Took me a while to understand, but just basically complete as many of these as possible as I play through the game. New species registered. Okay. Research task completed. Okay. I completed 37 of them. Did I get a star? It, the bar raised all the way up. You've made good pro. You've made good progress on the research task. I do believe you're ready to move up to the ranks. Okay. Yes. So I should get my first star, I believe. Let's head back to the village and report you your good news to Silene. It's uh, time you earn yourself a star. Yes. It's all making sense now. Bruh. I kind of don't want to rank up yet. I don't feel like I finished exploring that area, but whatever. We'll do it. Actually, before we do that, let's report to the Buizel guy. And was it you who wanted? No, it was this girl over here. It was someone over here who wanted to see Starly. 
Was it you? No. Who wanted to see Starly's? It was her. Oh, you've completed Starly's entry. Yes. Okay. So I caught a Starly, but it wasn't entered into my Pokedex yet because Lavington didn't do it yet. And now I've completed her task, whose all she wanted was to see a, a Starly in the Pokedex. Show uh miley a starly yeah something like that she wanted to see it in the pokedex and now i can just show her one randomly it's a lot to take in to be honest this game is overwhelming want to touch it yeah touch my bird no okay don't touch it then bro what she's scared of it now why'd you ask for it i'm not reading this generic npc text it's just a side quest adorable starly there's probably some funny lore in that oh well all right, let's give, let's show or give the man his big boizel that he really wanted. I'm sorry if I keep moving around because it is very hot and my legs, the skin of my legs is sticking to my chair because of how hot it is. Anyway, I've got a bigger, oh, I've got two. Were they both bigger? I don't know. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yeah, take it. I've already got one. Good gravy. I never expected you to bring me one so quickly. I mean, it took me about 20 minutes. That was pretty quick, I guess. Wait, that wasn't the right one. This is the big one, I think. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one. At least 2.8. Two, yeah, okay. Never mind then. I literally completed one of the tasks because it was like, hey, you caught a big boizel, but clearly not big enough. I don't know how to see the other Pokemon in the boxes remotely. Can I not do that? Okay, I should probably save. Oh, over here, I think is where they're kept. No, this is not where the Pokemon are kept. In the pastures? In the pastures? What is this place? I haven't explored any of this. Whoa, it's a oh, training grounds. Pachirisu. Okay, that's cool. You know what? Let's talk to the woman and rank up and see what that does. Hello, whatever your name was again. Silene. If you have progress to report, I'll judge it. Show me your Pokedex. Here, take a look. Yep, look at it. It's epic. I've done so many things. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll use my face cam as a pointer. Down here, research points. That's how many points. Points I've completed. That's like how many points I've gotten from doing all those mini tasks with the Pokemon. Here, it tells me how many points I need to get to the next rank. Zero, because I'm ready to rank up now. Bruh, I'm understanding a basic game. Hmm, you have made progress, it seems. You have earned yourself a star. Thank you so much. What are you going to do? Don't hurt me. With this, you have officially aimed the rank of a first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. First star sounds like top class, to be honest. New rank. Oh, it's got that diamond and pearl music. You can now use heavy balls. Oh, okay. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. Cool. The rewards you earn for survey reports will be more generous now. Awesome. So better rewards for the side quest. Have these as well. They are future recipes you'll need for crafting. Heavy balls? Yes. Heavy balls. What do I need? One apricorn and one black tumblestone. I haven't seen any of those yet. Oh, and crafting recipe for revives. One vivid choke and two medicinal leeks. I have those. Keep at it. And even if you did fall from the sky, people may be willing to accept you. Okay. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Nice. Good. We're making good progress. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the wall, uh, Wallflower and a good night's rest. Okay, thank you so much. I'm wondering when we're going to see our first noble Pokemon, which is like a really powered up strong boss type Pokemon. So Akari, my girl, I believe, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Thank you, creepy man. Potato mochi, that's what they're eating. You just said that. Most people here don't know much about Pokemon, you've noticed, right? Yeah, you're all pretty brain dead. And you're letting a 15 year old go out in the wild and just do it all for you? That's child labor. Just because I can do it, doesn't mean you should make me do it. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Asui since before Team Galaxy arrived. The Diamond Clan? I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. But we can discuss all that tomorrow for today. We should eat up and get some rest. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Tasty meal. The next day. Ooh, this thing in the sky looks epic. Hey, Kari, before I go meet Mai, how about the request? Mind showing me how you do in battle? Okay. Our first battle with him. What Pokemon does Ray have? Great, I'll be at the training grounds. Oh, we just passed that. I wonder what Pokemon he has. He probably picked one of the starters. Um, the only Pokemon I really have for battle is Rowlet and Shinx, but maybe this XP share on for the other ones because I don't remember catching him at that high of a level. Hello, let's fight. We'll do a fight. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. Yeah, it kind of is. I fell from the sky and now you're trying to make me complete the entire Pokedex for you. That's a bit much, but I'll fight you. Take a look at my very own partner. Who? Oh, Pikachu. Okay. Oh, it has his actual Pikachu cry instead of his like anime voice lines, which he's been having in the new games. This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but it was just mine went blank. Nah, bro, I got this. I can fight the Shinx myself. Anyway, I'm going to kill your Pikachu. Bigger, not Pika, it's bigger. If I want to do server camps well, my partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is to battle your team. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, okay. This is a cool little... I like the intro to the trainer battles. It actually is, like, hyped up. It's really cool. Ray sent out Pikachu. Go... No! I didn't want to send out Bidoof. I mean, okay, sure. Battle! Can I... Oh, hello. Can I go talk to Ray? Hey, how's your day going? What are you doing? I want to get... I can't get any closer. Come on. I just want to talk. Whoa! You can be like... Wah. You can, like, focus on the Pokemon. This game is epic. I love this. I want to sh send out Shinx. I don't know how. Okay, we'll, we'll just fight. Uh, use rollout. Bit of us paralyzed. Never mind. Oh, no. Don't kill him. Paralyzed. Okay, we are actually going to send out Shinx. Come back. Bidoof. Go, Shinx. Wow. Quick attack is epic. All right, let's use bite. Oh, we've already unlocked strong and agile style, which is, if you don't know, a new thing in this game where it either makes your attack really strong or really fast, where I think you can get two attacks in or something like that. Or just it'll always outdo your opponent's speed. I can't remember. Let's. Oh, you can only do it for this. You can only do it for quick attack for some reason. What happens if we do a strong quick attack? Oh, I love that little transition. Shinx used strong quick attack. Oh, that was decently strong for a quick attack. No, Shinx is almost dead. What? What happened? Why did he attack twice? Okay, maybe he used agile style, which made him be able to attack twice. I don't know. Something like that. I don't think I was meant to know how to use that yet. It hasn't given me a five hour tutorial on it yet. Let's use strong gust because that'll take him out. Strong style. Rowlet used gust and it definitely killed him. Yes. Okay. So basically I think if I use a strong style attack, the opponent's going to use an agile style attack right after. So they get two attacks in or something like that. Whoa. Heaps of, heaps of level ups. That was crazy. Move mastered. Oh, for bit off, it just said move mastered, which I think means I can do the strong and agile attacks. This game is so different to every other Pokemon and I love it. Bah, fair enough. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be to get a little friendlier with one another. Yeah, don't just be like, hey, fight this woman. You gotta be friends with him, bro. Okay, he's telling me what types are. I know, I know how the, wow, it's just giving me the full on type table as if I'm going to memorize that. I've been playing Pokemon for at least 10 years. I still don't know what's weak against what most of the time. So you're one, so you're the one, the new recruit everyone's been talking about. Who's this? It Okay, you are a terrifying lady. The name is Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. You are terrifying. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd uh, stop by and give you advice. Yeah, I don't want your advice. If your Pokemon truly masters its move, it can actually use them in different styles. Okay, I wasn't supposed to use them until now. Strong style, it will deal more damage, but afterwards, it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. So giving the opponent two turns. It all makes sense. On the other hand, you can unleash agile style. Move that has less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards to attack. Something like that. I don't know. If you want to teach Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Ooh, okay. Don't know what that's about. Epic. You remember, I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down to see about Mai's request. I'm supposed to meet you down at the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. I will. Get ready to meet us down there, would you? Sure. And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zisu. Uh, huh. We're going to fight him again, I think. A request from May. May. My. I don't know. Anyway, that will about do it for part two. Hello, Shinx. We're going to bring the boys out to say goodbye. Thank you all so much for watching. Go Rowlet. Go other Budoof. Go Starly. I still love that you can just have all your Pokemon out at once. Look at these boys. I wish you could have more than that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for part three. Goodbye.